the Prude and Diane is next. This is the French Oaks. One more two and a half furlongs. Group one for three year old fillies. Brown Thomas at the top. Strange name for a filly. Paul Rhodes. Double indemnity for Leon von Rensburg. Fine purple hero. Munas. Firth Priscilla. James Shea. Himalayan Clarence. Jamie Hopkins. Morning Ice hero. Munas. Shadows Nobility. Giant Bermanstein. Show me something. Joshua Sutherland. Silver Tongue. Jim Murray. And star attraction. Daniel French. Ten runners. Not sure anything will get knocked down for 8.1 million at an auction. And they're all white and racing. Everybody saw that this week. How bizarre was that horse that was approved at Dion? Gets knocked down for 8.1 million to the actual owner, and then he sold half of it for 5 million to somebody else. Bizarre. Or oh, what? Anyway, Morning Eyes Hero is the early leader. On double indemnity. I don't know what the commission he had to pay on 8.1 million is for buying it back himself, but it must have been a few quid. Anyway, Silver Tongue is back in third. I don't know most of you. Probably don't follow real racing as closely as I do, so you've probably not got a clue what I'm talking about. Check it out on the old internet. The sales last week where the Prude of Diane winner was knocked down for 8.1 million. I can't remember if it's euros or pounds, I think it's probably euros. 8.1 million to its owner. And there were underbidders as well who wanted to buy it, and then they ended up doing a deal outside of the ring where I think they sold half of it for 5 million. I think to ammo racing but i'm not 100 percent sure about that anyway back to this race and morning ice heroes in the lead double indemnity is second fine purple heroes back in third show me something is fourth and then silver tongue brown thomas is after that and then shadows nobility star attraction is next and then firth priscilla and himalayan clarets they make their way down towards the final three and a half furlongs and Munas got a strong hand at the moment with Morning Ice Hero and Fine Purple Hero 1 and 2 show me something who's the, probably the form horse in the race he's now moving into second on the outside Silver Tongue Brown Thomas he's wider still double indemnities and a little bit of pressure Paul Leon Van Rinsburg then Star Attraction Shadow's Nobility is after that first Priscilla and Himalayan Clarence are probably out of it they're down towards the final furlong now and show me something has hit the front and he's in the lead by about a length or so from Silver Tongue in second Fine Purple Hero and then Morning Ice Hero but it's show me something in the lead Fine, Pur fine Purple Hero and Silver Tongue trying to close but it's going to be oh it's close I was going to say show me something is going to take it but Silver Tongue with a final lunge on the line may well have got up and taken that that is close I think Jim Murray's horse has won it it never led anywhere but on the line if it did and indeed it has Silver Tongue Jim Murray takes it show me something for Joshua Sutherland who you would have thought was the foremost in that race ends up second fine purple hero for Munas and morning ice hero for Munas again was third and fourth and then the fifth horse momentarily disappeared star attraction for daniel french <laughs> 